Harry's wife. The signs their marriage is on the rocks. I've explained to you many times that we have here the dynamic between narcissist and intimate partner primary source victim. Harry had a golden period. Everything was wonderful. He was swept off his feet and thought that he'd found the woman of his dreams. He's now been in the sustained devaluation for some time, which is punctuated by respite periods where the golden period makes a fleeting reappearance. There is a suggestion that their relationship is very much on the rocks. That comes as no surprise to me or you as a consequence of the good advices that you've received from me. I've explained hitherto that when it comes to the narcissistic dynamic, the outcome is either the victim has enough in escapes, unusual, the narcissist has a disengagement trigger and therefore gets rid of the victim, much more likely. And then the alternative is that neither of those two events take place, meaning that the roller coaster ride continues until either one of the parties dies. I've explained that it is most likely that Harry will be disengaged from. And there are many that see that the marriage is on the rocks, that a split is forthcoming. There are some that suggest they've already separated and they're just maintaining public appearances. But the list has come forth with a number of signs that it says that their marriage is on the rocks. I'm going to examine that and also see how that fits in with the way that the narcissism functions in this particular relationship. It's likely that Prince Harry and Harry's wife never anticipated that their relationship would become the global phenomenon that it is now. Well, I would safely say that Harry's wife did believe that because she's always operated in a movie where she believes she's the main character and has always believed that global superstardom was hers to have. The press and the public alike have been keeping close tabs on them since the day their relationship became public. When they got engaged, public interest was piqued even more, and by the time they got married... The world was so enthralled by them, well, one way of putting it, that their wedding ceremony became the third most watched event in history. The public adored them. But that adoration soon turned into disdain, fueled by negative stories about Harry's wife in the press, or, more accurately, fueled by Harry's wife's negative behaviour. It escalated to the point where she and Harry decided to step down as senior members of the royal family. One can only imagine the kind of toll or the drama it must have taken on the couple's relationship, and yet they seemed to hold it together. They sat down for a tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey and released the Netflix shit series Harry and Harry's Wife as a means to set the record straight and tell their side of the story. Throughout all of this, they seemed more in love than ever, Although I would point out, of course, that comes from Harry's side. She is incapable of it, although she believes that she does love him. They appear to be an inspiration and a reminder to every married couple out there that it was possible to face several adversities and still stick together. Royal fans will know, however, that recently there has been plenty of speculation that all is not well with the Sussexes. Let's take a look at the rumours and see if they have any merit. Firstly, Prince Harry was promoting Spare without Harry's wife by his side. A source told the Telegraph newspaper that Harry's wife had some doubts about the book and whether it was a good idea that Harry shared so much of his personal life, but she supported him regardless. However, her support was questioned when she wasn't at Harry's side when he was promoting the book. This raised some eyebrows, with GB News host Dan Wooten who isn't a fan of Harry's wife by any means, saying that it was the first sign of Harry's wife trying to distance herself from all the collateral PR damage caused by Spare. Harry's wife clearly doesn't want to make it look as if she's somehow speculating, or, beg your pardon, somehow manipulating Harry, or that she's had a hand in shaping his memoirs, royal biographer Christopher Anderson told Fox News. Many saw Harry's wife's absence as a sign that she was distancing herself from Harry and his ventures, especially because they are usually involved in each other's projects. I explained in parts passim that she was hanging out to dry, that she saw the reaction that was occurring in relation to what he had disclosed and therefore was allowing him to take the flak so that she could distance herself from that. This then meant that she could then turn around and put it all on Harry. 
I told you not to do it, even though, of course, we all know that she encouraged him to write this book and clearly was involved in its writing herself. She distanced herself for the purposes of causing him to suffer the criticism and it was a means of nullifying any potential threat to her own control by staying away from that. She basically threw Harry under the bus and provided no support because she has no emotional empathy for him. She would only appear supportive if it would suit her purposes where she stood to gain. And here, the criticism of the publication would, if she had stood next to him, have affected her also. And in the circumstances, meant that she, driven by her narcissism, maintained distance. Next, the suggestion the couple didn't release a Christmas family photo or acknowledge their wedding anniversary. Harry and Harry's wife's 2022 Christmas card featured a photograph of them taken at an event that year. While this wasn't exactly out of the ordinary, the Daily Mail pointed out that the couple released a Christmas card featuring their children the previous year. It's actually pretty customary for members of the royal family to use a family photo on their Christmas cards. Prince William and Princess Catherine, for example, blessed fans with a stunning family photo once again. The fact that the couple chose a photo that anyone could find on Google didn't do much to ease worried minds. To make matters worse, Harry and Harry's wife also failed to mention their five-year wedding anniversary publicly in 2023. Obviously, this led many to think that all might not be well. Speaking to the Daily Star, relationship coach Tara Blair Ball said she suspects the couple is exhausted from all the drama that occurred in the past couple of years, but she's optimistic that their marriage is stronger than ever. I would, of course, say to that it's nothing to do with the exhaustion of what's been going on, but rather the fact that Harry is in the sustained devaluation. Next up is the fact that Harry's wife did not attend King Charles III's coronation ceremony with Harry. There was an immense amount of speculation about whether or not Prince Harry and Harry's wife would attend the coronation. Given Harry's strained relationship with his family, Harry's wife's presence might have provided some comfort and support, but she stayed behind in California with their children. As it turned out, Charles's coronation was on the same day as Prince Archie's fourth birthday, so the narrative was that Harry's wife stayed behind to celebrate with the little royal, even though she and Harry could have just taken the children to the United Kingdom. The reason, as I've explained to you in the past, that she didn't attend was that her narcissism perceived too many threats to control. That, there, for instance, that the hostile media, hostile public, and a hostile royal family didn't want her there, and her narcissism recognised that it would be easier to stay in a position of withdrawal to assert control rather than attend and face sustained threats to control. Furthermore, notwithstanding the fact that it would have been supportive to attend with Harry, after all, it is his father's coronation, a once-in-a-lifetime occurrence, her narcissism deems he's not important enough because she doesn't truly care about him and has no emotional empathy for him. That, of course, is not necessarily something that shows that the marriage is on the rocks, but is simply indicative of the way that she behaves as a narcissist. The next point was the suggestion that Harry's wife is doing a solo brand relaunch with talent agency WME. In a surprise move, Harry's wife signed with talent agency William Morris Endeavour to get her career back on track. The public has become used to Harry and Harry's wife tackling projects together, and this is the first time Harry's wife has gone completely solo. Entertainment expert Mark Boardman told Newsweek that this decision indicates Harry's wife is ready to re-enter the entertainment industry. This move suggests that Harry's wife is again interested in pursuing new opportunities as WME is a major talent agency. They have connections and expertise in the entertainment industry that could help her secure high-profile projects. Meanwhile, royal commentator Tom Bauer is of the opinion that Harry's wife has grown weary of her relationship with Harry. There are many now in London who say Harry's wife is getting tired of Harry, Bauer told Marker, adding that Harry's wife is likely to reach out to King Charles III and negotiate her and Harry's divorce in the not-so-distant future. Bauer added that after all is said and done, Harry's wife would need a new career, since she'd no longer be associated with the royals. Harry's wife's new deal with WME is raising some eyebrows. The fact is that Harry has been maintaining a degree of seeking privacy 
Yet Harry's wife, although she talks about it, appears ready to fully step back into the public eye. Their interests clearly don't align. And, of course, this is her doing her own thing, because she doesn't care about Harry, and may also lead to another fracture between the two of them that could prove the death knell of their marriage. Next, Prince Harry allegedly sometimes stays at a hotel on his own. When a married couple can no longer stand to be in the same house together, you know there's trouble. And rumours have been swirling that Prince Harry sometimes goes off to a hotel on his own to take a breather from his home life. I have explained in parts past him what that really is about, in terms of him retreating from Harry's wife when she's devaluing him. Sources told The Sun that Harry has a room reserved at a hotel near his and Harry's wife's California home, where he sometimes goes for some alone time. Not only that, but he apparently also frequents the San Vicente Bungalows in Los Angeles, a swanky and very exclusive private members' club. Sources told The Sun that the club serves as an escape place for the prince. Whether from his wife or the public, it's unclear. It's the perfect place to hide out, though. Members aren't allowed to approach each other, and cameras, even those embedded in cell phones, are banned. Harry's wife has been seen partying without Harry. A couple that parties together sticks together, right? But it appears that Harry's wife enjoys the Hollywood scene much more than Prince Harry. Petronella Wyatt, a society journalist, tweeted that Harry's wife is frequently making an appearance at events and parties in Los Angeles without Harry by her side. Friends of mine who live near Harry and Harry's wife are always bumping into Harry's wife at parties these days. Strangely, she tends to leave Harry at home, her post read. The list suggests perhaps Harry simply doesn't like parties and fancy events. But, of course, he grew up having to attend these things all of the time. He always enjoyed going to Bonkers Night Spot and chowing down on a kebab at Abracababra thereafter. This, of course, is a simple case that there'll be instances where she goes out without him as part of the devaluation, leaving him, giving him an absent silent treatment. Harry's wife ditched her engagement ring on more than one occasion. Avid royal watchers know that Harry's wife first stepped out without her engagement ring while she was pregnant with Prince Archie. One can argue that she left her ring at home for fear that she wouldn't be able to get it off again. It's common for people's fingers to swell during pregnancy. However, she was seen recently stepping out without her engagement ring once again. While she and Prince Harry were attending the Women of Vision Awards in New York, people noticed that Harry's wife's ring finger was noticeably bare. She was also spotted without the ring in Los Angeles previously, and no one knows why she's not wearing it. It sure is odd, considering that she previously went to a lot of trouble to have it altered, so the band was thinner, which made the diamonds look even bigger. She also gushed about how much she loved the ring after she and Harry got engaged, calling it incredible. Well, of course, she did so at the time, because that was the golden period. Now, she is triangulating Harry by not wearing the engagement ring to say to him, look, I don't care about you. It also means, of course, that when she's out there on the prowl for a replacement for Harry, she's not wearing a ring in the case in case a particular individual approaches her and doesn't actually recognise who she is or knows that she's married. The absence of the ring will support that. But the main reason why she's not wearing it is to send a signal to Prince Harry by way of devaluation to say, I don't belong to you, I do what I want. Next, sources claim Harry is only staying in his marriage for his children. Some sources claim that Prince Harry is only staying married to Harry's wife because of his children. Those claims come from Princess Diana's former royal butler, Paul Burrell, who isn't exactly on the best terms with Prince Harry. Burrell enjoys having his voice heard because he's been telling everybody who will listen that the couple's marriage is on the rocks and that a divorce is imminent. GB News gave him and his wife some time on the air to make their speculations public. Sky News contributor Daisy Cousins is a little sceptical. She mentioned that she wouldn't dismiss the possibility that the Sussexes started the breakup rumours in order to get some good old publicity. It actually wouldn't surprise me if these were very calculated leaks from the Sussex camp, suggesting that there's a split on the card, she told Sky News, adding, because either way, if there is or there isn't, we're all going to look. 
A royal expert also claims Harry's wife was always planning on separating from Harry. Rumours about Prince Harry and Harry's wife's possible breakup have opened a can of worms, and suddenly there are inside sources and royal experts aplenty who claim they saw this coming all along. Speaking to GB News, royal biographer Angela Levin claimed that Harry's wife had mapped out an escape plan long before she and Harry tied the knot. Actually, that's not the case. As an unaware middle mid range narcissist, she will not have done so. Levin claims that Harry's wife is planning on taking full custody of their children once their marriage disintegrates. In my opinion, here is what she's doing, says Levin. She's making sure that he's in a hopeless situation so that she can get the children and he's completely isolated from his family and friends. Indeed, those are steps that the narcissist takes in order to assert control. Furthermore, there is the suggestion from Harry's wife's sister that the couple's marriage is on the rocks. Samantha Markle made a voice heard once again after the public perceived some potential tension between Prince Harry and Harry's wife while they were attending an NBA game together. When the kiss cam focused on the two of them, Harry could be seen going in for a kiss, but it looked to all the world like Harry's wife was dodging him. See parts pass him, a very public devaluation. This was indeed a pretty interesting turn of events, but Samantha took it even further, telling GB News that it was very unlike Harry's wife to reject Harry's affection. Previously, in all the photographs, she was pining over him, putting her hands all over him, grabbing his hands, grabbing his back. Is this a symbol of separation? This is seemingly a statement on her part, that she's not all that touchy-feely right now, Samantha said. Well, of course, as I've explained to you when she was grasping Harry, that's all part of asserting control over him through physical means and presenting a facade of being a lovey-dovey, perfect couple. What about all of these instances? There are several of them. Do these show that the marriage is on the rocks? The answer is yes. The marriage is on the rocks because it's between a narcissist and her victim. The marriage is on the rocks because he's in a sustained devaluation, which could cause him to escape. Although, as I've explained to you previously, he's so wrapped up in his own emotional thinking and the manipulation still, that is unlikely. The marriage is on the rocks, quite simply, because many marriages, not all, but many marriages between a narcissist and their victim, end up in the divorce courts because either the victim escapes from the abuse or the narcissist has no longer need for that primary victim as a consequence of a disengagement trigger, of which there are five that I've explained to you in separate videos. Some entanglements continue either because of narcissistic cementation, where two narcissists come together, or where there's narcissist and victim and there's no escape and there's no disengagement, so the roller coaster continues. The marriage is on the rocks because he's being devalued. The marriage is on the rocks because as part of that devaluation, she chooses to belittle him and assert control over him by not wearing the engagement ring, by going out on her own, by sorting out her own promotion, by not supporting him with regard to spare, furthermore, by not turning up at court to support him, by also staying away with regard to the coronation. All of those are acts of devaluation occasioned by virtue of the fact that she is a narcissist and demonstrate that this marriage is on the rocks and is heading to divorce in terms of her disengagement from him. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.